Well, writing is something most of us do every day, but what happens when a journalist turns into an author? Tim Miller explains how a former WTOL 11 reporter's first book is raising awareness for childhood cancer, and it hits close to home. He had a copy of the book, and as, as soon as he pulled it out from behind his back and I saw the cover, I just, I just broke down. Warren and Wendy Brown never wanted the spotlight on childhood cancer to dim. Not after their 11-year-old daughter Alexa died in 2009 after a courageous three-year battle against brain cancer. While attention on the Sandusky County Childhood Cancer Cluster has faded, this is a letter that Senator Brown sent. Former WTOL 11 reporter Jonathan Walsh is shining new light on what happened. He's an investigative news reporter in Cleveland and now an author. It's raw, it's real. You're going to see so many emotions in this book. He just released his first book, Is My Child Next? The Alexa Brown Story. We have gotten you know, such a great response in, in people contacting us and wanting to know more. Uh, you know, what can they do? What can they do about pediatric cancer? Jonathan and I covered the cancer cluster for WTOL 11 for years, and he wrote the book to showcase the inspiring families like the Browns who lost a child. It's a deep dive into their heartache. Just to hear the pain that they've gone through, it's a story that has to be told, but it's not easy to tell the story, is it? Well, you know what, it's, as a parent myself, you start thinking about your own children. How would I react if my child got cancer? The Browns see Jonathan's book as a blessing, no matter how hard it is to relive. It takes you back to when Alexa was going through all of that. And that still, to me, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, even thinking about it makes, makes me tear up. I hope the difficult journey that we went through makes someone else's journey maybe just a little bit less difficult as they deal with critically ill children, especially kids with cancer. Every dime of proceeds from the book sales go to Butterflies of Hope, Alexis Foundation. Jonathan says there are new stories in the book that were never told on TV, like Alexis' bond with her speech therapist after her first surgery. She was robbed of her speech. She was robbed of singing. She loved to sing. And this beautiful bond, I, Tim, it is so inspirational. It is so compelling. And to see how these two people from opposite ends of generations just really come together, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing. The Browns hope the book leads to more action against childhood cancer. They fight and they don't give up and they smile and they don't feel sorry for themselves. And we should do more for our children. I'm Tim Miller, WTOL 11. No true smoking gun was ever found to explain the cancer cluster. You can order the book on Amazon or through Brawler Books at the website on your screen.